All right, so I just saw The Watchers, written and directed by Ishana Knight Shyamalan, stars Dakota Fanning, Georgina Campbell, an Irish lady whose name I'm afraid to pronounce, and Oliver Finnegan. This is Ishana Knight Shyamalan's directorial debut. She is the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan. It's a supernatural horror thriller. The supernatural part comes later. If you're wanting a synopsis, go look that up and then come back. We don't have that kind of time. In the spirit of being honest and straightforward, is the movie any good? Mmm. There are some highs and there are some really lows. There's not much in between and that's a problem. The low here is the storytelling. That's where the lack is. The storytelling is a little, there. It, it's, it's missing some pieces. There are some questions that need to be answered that don't get answered until it's way too late. And it's also a little clunky. It's a great idea. This is based on a novel. So I imagine this is a great idea. It's just poorly executed. I swear that's the theme of 2024. Great idea, poor execution. Uh, so that's th that's the low here is the story. And unfortunately, because the story is so lacking, it brings everything down. Now the high here is Dakota Fanning and Georgina Campbell. Is it too soon to call Georgina Campbell a genre actor? She just tends to do a lot of horror and a lot of thriller, and she's good at it. She has a face for it. She has a temperament for it. She is a good head-to-toe, full-body actress. She was in Barbarian in 2022. So I, I enjoy her as an actress. She's excellent. Dakota Fanning, I mean, she's been doing the damn thing since 2001. I expect nothing less than excellence from her. Why she doesn't have an Oscar, I mean, good God, give the woman her dues. Give the woman her flowers. But I, I feel like they elevate this a little bit. They make this watchable. If it weren't for them, if, if it weren't for these two ladies giving such stellar performances. Now, the other two actors in this film, they do very well, hands down. But those two, they shine so bright in this movie. I think if it was anyone else, if we had someone or anyone of a lower caliber of acting skill, this will be unbearable to watch. They make it watchable. The movie had like three different endings. She really struggled with the script. So nah, the movie is not that great, but I enjoyed it. It's fun trash. Now, because I enjoyed it, does that mean you will enjoy it? I don't know. The reasons for which I enjoy this movie have more to do with my education in film than anything else. Because there were certain little thematic things that just tickled my brain a little bit. And I don't know what your level of study is so I, I i don't know what you'll pick up and what you won't i just know what i picked up on and it tickled my brain enough that i would watch this again in theaters just to see what else i missed the little pieces that helped to put the story together because keep in mind this is the daughter of m night Shyamalan, and it's very evident not so much that she is his daughter but that she studied him now, in this art of motion pictures, you know, 90% of it is telling a good story. And she kind of missed here. But once she figures that out, oh my gosh. Cinematically, is that, I'm not even sure if I'm using that verbiage correctly. There's a lot that's in here that I probably would have studied in like an aesthetics class. Talking about motifs, theme, metaphors, th the repeating of certain elements, the way she uses birds as a motif and a metaphor in here, the way she mimics her father. Because if you pay attention to M. Night Shyamalan's movies, in most of his movies, you can tell what the ending is going to be from the beginning. You just got to pay attention. He always slips something in the beginning that gives you an idea as to where the movie is headed. And it all comes full circle in a bit. And with this movie, it's all about birds. You, you got to pay attention to the birds. This is the kind of movie you study, that you dissect, that you break down. And I think that's why I enjoyed it so much. Because there's so much in here that I just want to just tear apart and dig into it a little bit deeper. In spite of the fact that the story was lacking, visually, just the way the story is told visually, with the different motifs, the repeating of the birds, the mimicking, even this 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 thought of twins, just this, the way she took these little things and used it to kind of wrap the story in, if only the story that was that was better. 
this would have been perfect because cinematically those those little things those elements the, the those pieces of literature that you learn about in class that are part of a story they're not the whole story but they're part of the plot they help to shape the plot and mold the plot she has that down she just needs to learn how to tell a story mm. am i making any sense because i'm geeking out so yeah to sum it up the story is definitely lacking. That, that's the problem here. It, the story is not quite fleshed out properly. It's not well written. It's poorly executed. Great idea, poor execution. But there is something about the way she crafts the film that makes me want to dip my toes in and wade in the water.